to go ahead and do student checkup excel 1-2 in order to do this we need a student check checkup excel 1-1 uh, the file so the file that we made in the last uh, checkup we're going to go ahead and open that up and use that to then continue our 1-2 so I need to save this student checkup excel 1-1 uh, to uh, for it with a new name so I can go ahead and begin the new checkup okay so now that my my file has been saved right so I did save as and I've saved it as 1-2 I can go ahead and begin so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do a an auto sum right here in B11 I'm going to go ahead and select that cell and hit auto sum up here and then hit enter I'm also going to go to I5 and do the same thing. So I'm going to select that and hit auto sum and then hit enter. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and use the fill handle down here on the bottom with B11. So right there, you see my uh, cursor turns to the uh, black plus and I'm able to click the left mouse button and drag it all the way over. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go all the way to I. 11 and left lift up on my left mouse button and it'll go ahead and fill across I'll go ahead and do the same thing to my i5 I'm going to go ahead and drag it down as well so now all my totals are uh, correct if I click into an individual cell I can see the up here right in the in the formula bar the formula for that specific cell now I'm going to go ahead and change some of the styles. In A1 I'm going to select that and I'm going to change the style too. So I'm going to go ahead and on the home tab I'm going over here to cell uh, to styles and in styles group there's going to be cell styles. So with A1 selected actually that's going to be my the first one actually this is going to be A1 should be uh, title right there and then my A2 should be the headings 1 in that same selection group okay so I've got A1 and A2 went ahead and I was able to get them formatted A4 I'm going to type in revenue categories I'm going to select A4 through A11 right along here I'm going to hold down my control B button and then I'm going to select B4 through I4 along here so there we go so since I have the control button held down I'm able to select multiple cells um, not necessarily in the same row and are in the same column right so I'm able to select that that one row on four and then also part of the column on a there and then I'm gonna I'm able to go into here and I'm I'm doing 20% uh, accent 5 is what I'm doing. So I need to, while these are still selected, so I don't need to select off of those, I need to keep those selected. And then I'm going to go ahead and resize. Uh, I'm going to bold. And then I'm going to go to 12 point on my font there. And then now we can tell that there's some. Um, uh, problems with the columns right so not all the information is fitting in so I can go ahead and resize those columns Tuesday, Monday and Tuesday look good Wednesday I'm gonna have to scooch that Thursday a little bit Friday is good Saturday Sunday and totals are good so I'm able to resize all those make sure all my text fits in okay so I'm going over here to my uh, page layout and I'm gonna go to themes right here so I'm going to be changing the theme here uh, if I have the gallery theme this one right here I'm going to go ahead and select that so that's the gallery theme so that's what it looks like again I'm gonna to have to resize the columns if things get scrunched up there make sure I, I have all my text showing here so that, that looks good I'm going to change my font grouping to Georgia if you don't have Georgia then use Arial so there's a couple different options there 
and if you don't have the same style theme um, go ahead and use another theme just as long as you apply a theme to it now we're going to select b5 so we're selecting all this font in here through i11 so basically to do that right we're going to go up here to the to b5 and when we're inside this cell we're going to click our left mouse button and hold down and then just slide diagonally across here and then we can lift our left mouse button and it'll stay selected so we can keep working with it and we're going to change the font here as well to 12. okay so now we're going to do format painter so we're coming over here to a1 we're going to uh, a4 actually a4 we're going to select that we're going to resize the font to 14 and then we're going to click the format painter right up here all right so we're going to select that so we can see that this field that we had selected is going to now uh, have kind of the highlighted uh, outline there that's going to be moving that means we have um, the format painter selected there and it's working and now we're going to go from b4 to i4 across this way so we're going to go ahead and drag this across so we're going to select monday through totals and then once we release the our left mouse button then the format will take hold there we go and then of course we're going to have to re reset our columns here as well just to make sure everything is centered make sure everything has room right to show up there okay we're going to center align the range here as well so all of our top monday through totals we're going to center align that and then we went ahead and adjusted or auto fit our column widths is what we did there now we're at step 11 so this one is apply number formats and align text so we're going to select range b5 through i5 which is going to be here and uh, we're going to go make sure we're on the home tab under numbers right here the number group and we're going to click uh, next to general and select accounting so that's going to be right here this little dot drop down we're going to select accounting and we're going to go ahead and reduce decrease our decimal click that twice and that'll move our decimal so we don't actually have a decimal point we're going to get rid of the cents basically is what we're going to do okay and that has to be done while that's still selected b5 through i5 so we basically just added our dollar sign there the formatting and our uh, comma our placeholder for um, right after the thousandth place right so now we're going to go b11 through i11 on the bottom row here our cell styles are going to be we're going to do totals here right here and select that and uh, we're, uh, we're also going to do numbers here and we're going to do uh, accounting here on the bottom as well and of course we're going to de decrease the decimal point it just kind of cleans it up a little bit there and we're going to make this 14 font here at the bottom okay so now we're going to go b6 through i10 right here so this selection right in between i'm going to click on the comma this is the comma right here I'm going to click on the comma we're going to reduce our decimal by clicking twice there and there's our formatting for our numbers so we're going to add some border formatting so we're on number 12 here so we're going to select the the range a4 through i11 this whole thing right underneath here and then we're going to the border button here so right here is our border button uh, we're going to go ahead and do the drop down arrow and we're going to go ahead and click on all borders okay so that's going to be kind of a shortcut so we're going to do all borders there and then we're going to select a11 through i11 down here on the bottom so that overwrites we see that we had some formatting here on the bottom before that 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 we just did over uh, 
overwrote that formatting that we had before. So we're going to reset some formatting there on the bottom there now. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our borders. We're going to go ahead and do more borders all the way at the bottom here. And it's going to pull up our uh, for, format cells with the border tab selected there, right? And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead, we're going to change this bottom border right here, right? So what this is, is this is really just the current borders that we have. Everything has a border around it. Uh, we can remove that bottom border, right? So that bottom border is gone and we're going to replace it with a uh, double border. So right here is the double border right there. We're going to select that. So now that's selected. So now if we add the border back in, we're going to be adding a double border and we want the double border to be uh, red there. So now as we click the bottom, there's our double border red. Uh, select an, another blank cell off of that. We see that we have our double border red that's, that's on there. So now with all of that, so that's our uh, student checkup Excel 1-2 and that's perfect. Uh, feel free to contact me if you have any questions or concerns about any of this and I'm more than willing to help you out. Have a good day. We'll talk to you later.